Good evening, everybody. Tonight, I'm going to uh, just do some samples that are due on the website because we've uh, got a few of the sponges that are not on there, a few new ones. So I just thought while I was doing the samples, I might as well talk you through some little hints and tips on how to get the best out of the sponges. So here we go. So first of all, I'm going to, I've put my colour out already uh, and what I, and I've already put all the sponges in water and just put them in like that and just really give them a good ring out so they're just damp, that's all. So I've done that before to save time, so just get rid of the water. And I've put out all the sponges that are missing on my website, so I'm going to start with this little wee one that's um, two shells. The shells are already on the website singly in um, small and medium but these two are together so I thought I would do these and basically all you need all I really use is my finger for all the decorating that I do with my sponges occasionally I do use a brush to paint the sponges and and sometimes I do put the sponge directly into the color but not very often because I tend to to blend a little bit so um I'll do this first and I'm going to do it very quickly so that it's not, not too long because we've already been a minute and I always get told they're a bit long. So as you can see, I just blend with my finger and I'm going to put a little bit of a darker pink on that one. Wipe my finger out and we'll have this one as a blue one. The, uh, just do it quite, quite small and um, can make some great great decorations with these uh, for the bathroom or the lounge and you see that I just blended it onto the sponge and it's not sticking out it's just laying inside the sponge and it's probably soaked into it a little bit I'll probably press it on a couple of times otherwise this four inch tile which I've already base coated white because the last lot of tiles I got from somebody else unfortunately they fire not white so I'm not very keen so I've just put one coat of um, my colour to clay on and that's enough to make them white. So there we go. So that's a sample that will go on the website showing how to use this sponge and blending it with two colours. So back to one side to clay. Uh, and then this is a, a new one that we've got. We, um, I know it's a bit early but got to get it done so I'm going to start by actually making this silhouette so I'll have the witch just black without detailing her too much so make sure that the sponge has soaked up the the black paint like so and then what color moon could I have um should have made a gray never mind um I'll have a yellow moon make sure they Fingers a bit cleaner actually. Yellow moon, so just tap tap. Oh, got a bit of black on the moon. Look, mm hmm. Never mind, just wipe that moon with the yellow. Make sure that it's apt, uh, uh, sunk into the moon. There we go. And then a tile and pop let's see which way she's going pop it on like that just give it a little press and give give the time for the bisque or the greenware to actually pull the color out of the sponge so that should be enough don't squash it and distort there we go and then we've got our witch done so that's another one done and if you find there's a tiny bit missing or you want to actually embellish it a little bit afterwards you can for instance I could think okay let's just make her broom a little bit longer and her hand just a bit darker okay and you could do some uh, little little threads a bit, few more threads coming out of the broom at the back that's that one done and then we've got um, some nice twigs uh, two leaves slightly serrated and a twig in the middle 
and that comes in two sizes that comes in um, small and then tiny as well and I'm looking and looking at my pieces here and I can't see the other one but never mind oh it's right in front of me there <gasps> nuts right so these are missing off the website so we'll do those in a couple of colors look so here we've got um, a mint put the mint on really press it hard into this slightly dampened sponge make sure that it has sunk in and then I'm going to get a little bit of jade and just tap the edge of the sponge to make it a little bit more interested in just a flat colour and if you wanted you could have a brown stem I haven't put any brown out a brown stem and um, yeah use a brush for that because I don't think I can quite get my fingers and if I squeeze it like that it opens up so then I'll just end up getting just the twig and not the actual um, uh, leaf itself. So I've put that on there. So just touch, a little tiny push, but don't distort, just a tiny push, pick it up. And I'll just put a couple on. Just to fill the tile up make it interesting that looks nice in those colors so that's that one and then the the next one up i won't do but it's just exactly the same but bigger um i will do that for the website later then we've got a new um moon and stars so we do it a moon oh we should really do that gray i think um make a bit of grey, don't have a grey colour, it's a tiny bit of black and then mix some white in it and I'm going to put the white on here to start with, the white on the, um, the moon and then just dab my finger in amongst the moon with a, bit, a little bit of uh, grey and then a little bit of mint and then the stars could be artistic license have a red one and an orange one and a yellow one and ooh, a blue one okay so just make sure they have sunk in and then pop that on the onto the tile a little bit of a push just hang on a minute so that let the bisque sink in, sorry the colour sink into the bisque. The snow's cleared today, oh we've been snowed in for three days so I've got parcels waiting to go and the postman can't get up the hill or the courier man. You pull that away and then you've got a moon and stars. It probably could do with being a bit darker that moon, maybe the white wasn't a good idea, I'll maybe redo that later. And then we've got a lovely little daisy, a little wild daisy here. So what colour could we have that? We could have that a nice yellow. Got the black too close to the yellow on the tile. And then give it an edge of something. We could have an edge of orange. So just tap the corners like that. Just tap, 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 tap. I don't bother with the middle because I put that in later and just touch and release, touch, release, touch, release and if you want to have a middle to it you could use the other end of a brush you could have slightly greeny jady middles no we won't have jady middles
So that's another one done. Okay, so that's back there to fry it. And then we've got a new one, which is five snowflakes. This is a good one because this will be great if you've got a big studio and you want to chop it up because you could just chop it up and then all the students could have, five students could have one each. Um, you could have these, oh, lots of different colours, but I'll do them for the sake of the sample. I'll just do them in my finger with turquoise. Well, it's actually called um, Kingfisher, Kingfisher turquoise. So just pop that on. Try to do it quite fast, just rub it in to the to the snowflake. Make sure that it, it actually does clear the um, the detail. You don't want it looking solid. So kind of knock it about a bit with your finger so that the actual little um, what do you call them, the little stems that come off each snowflake. It's very, very detailed because these are laser cut with high density special sponge. So this is what why it keeps it very um, tight and it makes the detail very, very perfect. So great if you're doing finished pieces it doesn't take very long so we have that so pop that on there it's important not to make go too mad with this because you'll distort it so i'm just putting the tiniest bit of pressure on just let it suck up the paint and there you've got five snowflakes that there for the photograph um then we've got um two little holly leaves that come into tiny size and small. And these were really popular at Christmas. So now this I would put directly into the paint like that, but then I'd take it off a little bit, pounce it up and down. And you can, you can actually, when you get the sponges, you can trim them more if you want. You, know, you can take extra, um, we have special scissors, these are a bit rubbish very very sharp scissors for trimming um, you can take away the edge a little bit so I um, don't actually think I've got all of that that's it and then what could we do you could do like um, just touch and do a little garland And if you wanted, you could chop it in half and then you've got it singly as well, like that. And then you can pop some extra ones in so it looks like a little Christmas garland. And I haven't reloaded with the paint at all. Then you could take a stylus it's a bit it's a bit scruffy because i'm doing it 100 miles an hour and give it some berries i don't normally paint speed paint like this but um just for the sake of it the video i have hope you all enjoyed the dinosaur video that my son edited i won't be asking him to edit this because it takes him rather a long time and he's got a very young family so it was good good fun to see what he'd done so then you have like that small garland thing going on so i'll pop that back together for the photograph i often chop chop up my um sponges well i won't do the other one i'll do that one later because it'll look the same then we've got um a, a lovely uh, ivy leaf the ivy leaf comes in tiny medium and then three on a on a um twig so I'm going to put it into the limey green, pounce it up and down, and then I'll just put a little bit of the dark green and pop it on again and pounce it up and down and blend it so that it's a bit mottled. Just push, give it a little, and push, push. You can see how easy that was. 
really easy and if you wanted you could put twigs and spirals with a brush I won't because I don't want to make it look like that's what you get with the sponge on the website and as I say that one comes there's another one to do here which is a large it's on the medium sponge or is it the like yeah medium sponge so you could do a nice garland of of those and then we've got Valentine's coming up so we've got a lovely we've got lots of hearts we've got this traditional heart comes in two sizes and then we've also got it with lots on one sponge and then we've got some off two sizes in offset sponges going to one side and then we've got one that's got ribbons on it as well so you can make yourself a nice valentine's piece so you see i've pounced that up and down and um it's it's gone into the sponge and then i'm just going to touch give it a little tiny rock okay so there you go and you could have half sponges you know half, half a heart on you know just decorate it all over i'll just leave it like that so that's showing you what the traditional small sponge looks like of the heart and um, what else did we have oh shooting star now this is a new newish one this has been extremely popular so uh we will do this with multi-colored stars so there's some orange stars and we'll have some red ones. Again, you can chop these up. And then just touch, just touch. And give it a little push. Take it off. Okay, and then you've got shooting stars. That's ready to fire and then we've got a new spiral it's a bit like a yin and yang going on um what color could we do that um yum, yum, yum. oh gosh don't know blue we'll do it blue so i'm going to just put it into the blue now this is how it wouldn't work because you can see that i have put far too much paint on so i have to take some out just take it off make sure it's sunk in and then just pop it on And then pop it on. Oh, this is lovely. It's just simple, isn't it? So that's a nice one. That's the firing. And then what else have we got? That's new? Oh, we've got this one here. This is a cute one. This is uh, the um, forget me not. This comes in two sizes. So it comes in small, or well, tiny, like this, tiny. And then it also comes in small. So I'm going to just touch the edges of those flowers. Uh, and I really do like the tiny ones. I find the tiny ones extremely useful when you're doing um, big pieces with lots going on, like the hibiscus design that I do. So you can just touch. Take it off, touch, take it off, touch, take it off. Cut a little bit on there, maybe a bit up there. So you can see, you can make something quite quickly and then you could give them little middles with a stylus. You could easily have dinner service in no time at all. We put them into kits for the customers in lockdown and then we've had some lovely pieces back. There we go. So that's now ready to fire. Uh, which other have we got that's new? Um, we've got a tiny, um, oh gosh, sycamore leaf. We've got three hibiscus on one sponge. We've got three pointy flowers. Um, we call them ponsettias, but they could actually be anything. So if we do those, so I'll do the three ponsettias and the three hibiscus. So the hibiscus we'll have in pinks. So let's put the pink on. So you put the pink on all over like that. The, the, this is um, 
lovely pink called carnation so I'm put have these in carnation and then put um, dark pink on the edge so this dark pink can just go like that I'm just trying to think of its name now gosh it's called I make the names of cranberry gosh must have been a long week cranberry I hope you're all uh, well and haven't got snowed in and still well and haven't got affected too much by the coronavirus I am absolutely stuck in don't never go out become a little hermit all I do is YouTube videos <laughs> Um, and then with a brush, if we squeeze it with a, and then do a green uh, stamen. So you can just get the stamen like that and paint it. If you squeeze it, it opens out a little bit. They're only tiny. So there we go. And then pop, pop that on. And there you've got the lovely hibiscus. Looks really pretty. And that's when you put the daisies in, or you could put the the, the little daisy that I've just done in. You could put these. Use this uh, sycamore type leaf and embellish with the leaves. And the little daisy could just be scattered, and you can fill the piece with that. That's that. Uh, and what else have we got? Um, we've probably done enough actually because it's 21 minutes. I don't want to bore you. So, all I'm going to do now is fire those. I'll do these later, and these will go on the site. We've got um, the little chubby um, snowflake that's new. And then um, we had some, some of these pumpkins. Would you believe? We're getting pumpkins in now but this is the, the range of grinning pumpkins it comes in tiny small medium and large so most of them now are starting to come in like three or four sizes and again you could chop that up and then you would have actually that that one is similar to that but none of those are the same and i think there's one actually bigger than this as well uh, which is already on the site anyway I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching the video and, and learnt a little bit about uh, sponges. And um, put the camera up. So, so and do do share, do like, and please subscribe. And if you've got any comments and you'd like to ask me to do anything else, please do because I enjoy doing them and I enjoy sharing because I can't teach at the moment. And so, hopefully, you're all making lots of samples at home so that when you do open, you'll be able to teach these things. Anyway. Talk to you next time. Bye.